Hi, I am Akhilesh Kumar Shivasto. In the series of programming of uh, stacks, we will discuss today about uh, how to find if the given expression has the balanced parenthesis. So this is a very classical problem or the classical application of the stack, wherein given expression with the parenthesis, you can check if the balance of the parenthesis is correct or not. So let's take some of the examples and understand what the problem is, and then we shall go for the solution. So let's say we have the expression like this, a plus b, and this bracket close. So here this, these brackets are called the parenthesis. This is the opening parenthesis, and this is the closing parenthesis. So according to the opening and the closing nature, this is opening and this is closing. One opening parenthesis is there and one closing parenthesis is there. And the closing parenthesis is appearing after the opening parenthesis. Hence, this expression is correct. Similarly, if I take the expression like this, a plus b multiplied with c and then bracket close and then minus d. So you can see that in this expression also, this is the opening parenthesis. This is another opening parenthesis. And this is the closing parenthesis and this is the closing parenthesis. So there are two opening parentheses and the two closing parentheses are appearing after the opening parenthesis. Hence, this expression is correct according to the bracket position or the parenthesis position. Now, if I take another expression and uh, let's say this expression is this a plus b multiplication opening c minus d and a bracket close. So here you can see that the number of the opening parentheses are two, but the number of the closing parentheses is only one. So in this case, this expression should actually be uh, said to be incorrect according to the bracket. So if I'm trying to solve this question with the help of the stack, this is where this will be very easy. So let's take a stack and uh, uh, let's take this expression first. And whenever you are encountering with the opening parenthesis, let's push it in the stack. And whenever you see a closing parenthesis, pop the stack. Now, if you uh, see at the end of the expression, if the stack is empty, it means the given expression will be correct. Let's take another example, this example. Here we are having an expression and we see the opening bracket or opening parenthesis. Let's push it on the stack. We see another opening parenthesis. Let's push it on the stack. And then we have a closing parenthesis. Let's pop one element from the stack. We have a closing parenthesis. Let's pop one element from the stack. And since at the end of the expression, the uh, stack is empty, we'll say that the expression is correct. Let's take this example. Let's take the empty stack. Whenever an opening parenthesis is encountered, we are pushing it on the stack. And then we have an opening parenthesis. We are pushing this element on the stack. And then we have a closing bracket or closing parenthesis. Let's pop it from the stack. At the end of the expression, the stack is not empty. Stack contains one element. Hence, this expression is incorrect. So this is one of the condition which is appearing. There may be many more conditions uh, uh, which uh, up based on which we can declare that the uh, expression is incorrect. So based on this, uh, this condition, let's write an algorithm to find if the given expression is correct or not. So we will have to take a stack and we will have to initialize this stack. And let's assume that in the expression, we only have the parenthesis. Let us assume that we can uh, remove this assumption later, but let's say that in the expression, we only have the parenthesis. So we have the stack and this is this has been initialized. Initially, it does not contain any element. Now, after this, by the time we have the element on the stack, so while, let's say, this is the expression, and uh, expression is a string, and we have taken the i, the iterator for the expression. So while expression i is not equal to null character, by that time, we will be taking one of the element from this expression. And we'll check if this is the opening parenthesis or the closing parenthesis. So if I identify that this x is the opening parenthesis, 
I will push this element on the stack. So I have pushed this element on the stack. Fine. Now, if I observe that we have the closing bracket, it means the else. Let's assume that we only have the opening and the closing brackets. So if the opening bracket was observed, we have pushed this on the stack. But if we if we see the closing bracket, we will have to pop the stack. Fine. So pop the stack. And then at the end of the expression, you will have to check if the stack is empty, the expression is correct. If the stack is not empty, the expression will be incorrect. Although these are the incomplete conditions, but yes, at the beginning or to start with, we can take this condition. If the if stack is empty, it means the is empty function or, or by calling the is empty function, you get a true value. It means the expression is correct. So you write correct expression else incorrect expression. Fine. So based on this, let's write the code and let's see if this code works fine. And then we will incorporate some other conditions also later. So we have the stack which contains the uh, character values and uh, Let's uh, ask the user to input the expression. Or you can take the expression from your side also. Let's take the expression from our side. So let's say we have the character expression is equals to opening, opening, and closing, closing. So this is the correct expression. Our function or whatever logic we are writing should return the correct value or the correct stack, uh, correct expression. So let's take the iterator i, which may be used to iterate on the expression. Let's take a character value x. And you can say that if uh, while the expression has the characters, so expression i is not equal to null character, we will take the ith element of the expression in some x variable. And then we will test if this is the opening parenthesis or the closing parenthesis. So if X is the opening parenthesis, we will push this element on the stack. Else we will pop the element from the stack. Now at the end of the expression, if I observe that the elements, uh, if, if there are no elements in the stack, it means if the is empty function returns the true value, it means the expression is correct. Else we will say that the expression is incorrect. Fine. Now uh, for using this stack, uh, we should initialize this stack also such that it contains no elements in the beginning. So we are calling the initialize function, which will initialize the elements of the stack. So uh, let's repeat what we have written. We have taken the expression, which is a balanced expression. And with the help of the i, we are iterating this expression, taking an x that stores the ith character, then initializing the stack. By the time there are elements in the stack, we will take the element from the, uh, element from the expression and we'll check if this is the opening parenthesis, we will push it on the stack. If it is not the opening parenthesis, it means it is the closing parenthesis, then we will pop from the stack. If the stack is empty, we will say that at the end of the expression, if the stack is empty, we will say that the expression is correct. Otherwise, we will say that the expression is incorrect. Since we are using i as an iterator, whether we are pushing it or popping it, we should increment this i such that after taking one element, it points to the next element. So let's run this program. Okay, so it contains some very basic headers, push and pop. Fine. I think 
the expression is correct and which has been printed by this program. We can take another example also. Let's say the expression is of kind opening closing and then opening closing. This expression is also correct and our function should return the correct expression. If I increase one, ex one opening bracket additional and we do not have the same number of the closing brackets, then this should return the incorrect expression. You can see that this is returning or this is printing the incorrect expression. Now, uh, th these, are the some, uh, these are some very basic conditions. Let's take some more examples by which you can understand that there, there are more possibility of these expressions. Let's say we have the expression of kind one opening and two closing. It means that for opening bracket, we will push it on the stack. And for closing, I will pop from the stack. And for the next closing bracket, we will once again try to pop the stack. But the stack does not contain any element. So it means before popping the element, you should check if the stack is empty or not. And if the stack is empty, you just raise a flag and say that the expression is incorrect. And you should not check for other characters in the stack. For example, if I have opening, closing, closing, and then opening and then closing. So at this point only, you should declare that the expression is incorrect and you should not go to check for these characters. So you should raise the flag such that you have an idea about the expression is incorrect. So let's incorporate this here in this code. So we are taking that we have a flag and this flag denotes that the expression is correct initially. So this is our assumption. And while popping the element, you should check if the stack is empty or not. And if the stack is not empty, then only you should pop. If the stack is empty, you should raise a flag. So if is empty function, returns a true value, then there is no possibility of the deletion of the element. So you should raise a flag. So you're saying that the flag is set to one. It means the expression is correct or flag is set to zero in fact, and the expression is incorrect. And you should break this loop so that you should not progress to check the other elements because at this point only you can declare that the expression is correct. Else you pop the stack, it means you have the elements in the stack, which you should you should pop the elements. Okay. So at the end, uh, when, when the expression has ended, what conditions you have to check? If the expression is if the stack is in is is empty. So there are two possibilities here. One of the possibilities is if the flag is zero. If the flag is zero, it means that we have uh, broken the loop in between and we have set the flag as zero. It means the expression is incorrect. We did not find a matching opening parenthesis for a closing parenthesis or the number of the closing parenthesis at some point of the time was more than the number of the opening parenthesis. So if the flag is zero, the expression will be incorrect. Otherwise, the expression would be correct. It means this expression, this tag is empty and flag is not zero. It means the expression is correct. Fine. Now, if the stack is not empty, then definitely the stack is not correct. Uh, the expression is not correct. Fine. So we have incorporated these things. Let's check for an expression which has the more number of the closing parentheses than the opening. And let's check if this works fine. Okay, so the incorrect expression, you can check that the expression is incorrect. Fine. What if we start with a closing bracket? This expression will also not be correct. So let's start with the closing parenthesis and then the opening parenthesis. So this expression is also incorrect. So at the beginning itself, when we are checking, we have the closing bracket, the stack was empty. 
Hence, the flag was set as zero and we had to come out of the loop. So when we are coming out of the loop by setting the flag as zero, it means that the expression given is incorrect. So I hope you must have understood this. We will come with some other concept on the stack programming in the next lecture. Thank you.